So Patrice, I've uh, oh, sent that email that you asked for. Um, Gaia should also have a copy of it. Uh, okay, I, I can see this. Oh, Aki, um, um, I was thinking, I, it's been a year since I've played around with this, and I only played around with it very briefly, about a, um, putting a, a, a camera script inside a, a, you know, any sort of prim, and then attaching that prim would control where the camera was. I'm wondering if you could create, like, um, either take a bone or an attachment point, and in all your animations, animate that attachment point to remain steady, and then attach the, the prim that controls your camera, uh, you know, with the script in it, to that attachment point, make it invisible, and, and it would kind of act like a steady cam. Yeah, uh, that's pretty yes. much um, what I was thinking I might have to do if, if uh, nothing else works. <laughs> but um, It'd be great not to have to animate another, another attachment point or bone, but yeah, it looks like that might be your only solution if they can't figure it out. Yeah, um, I am running into another issue where, um, like, be I don't know if it's specifically because of the uh, avatar height change, but I'm noticing that the hind legs um, for this animation no longer bend properly to fit the ground. They're just being pushed up and down, up and down. Um, I can dig up the old uh, GIF that shows you the difference. Yeah, I think I've seen them on. I've been watching, following the, the feedback channel, and I've seen I've seen the different gifts that you've been putting up, and I noticed. I so I, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, I see your feet going up and down a few inches. Just looking at it now. I do have Blender open on my other screen, so I'll try and export that right away. But I do see your little speech dot bobbing up and down <laughs> in the opposite way of um, your avatar is going up and down. Yeah, that's really strange. I'm thinking it's like a bounding box thing. And Aki, where is this sandbox you're going to be working in? Um, I'm not really sure yet, but I do have a full region that I can play with. Um, I've actually been looking to uh, remodel the ground level of my sim, and I haven't done that for a while, so I might as well just offer up the space um, for some bento sandboxing while I finish that. Otherwise, we could just specify a, a public sandbox somewhere. Well, I have a sim also, so... Um, if you need a space, I have space there, so. Of course, I'd have to make a group, and then everybody would have to join it, and then... <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah, I'm in much the same position. Um, I really just need to organize everything and make some space. Um, otherwise, it's not that big a deal. Uh, I got another thing for, for you. Maybe you could help me to, to figure out what's going on with the animation um, that is created by Avastar. So uh, I, I, I learned that too many bones are exported and too many keyframes are exported. Um, if any one of you could send me um, demos and brief descriptions about w what you think is going wrong and what should be uh, done to make it better. This would help us. Um, and I offer you to, to send me your, your demos uh, via email so uh, you can be sure that they are not spread around in, in public. 
I, I just type my email here. Well, uh, that, that, that's the point. Uh, last time I checked this, I only got um, those bones which I have animated in the exported files. But you seem to get all bones um, there. So I, I need to understand what's different in your blend file and in mine. Um, Aki, this, what, what you just typed, this is, this should also be done automatically. If you, uh, if you don't have weights on a bone, then it won't be exported by default. I've been finding that it assigns, like if I, um, say for example, if I want to set up uh, bone heat and then kind of go and define things manually later, um, even if there are no weights for that particular bone, I'm finding that the, the list itself uh, does at least have like the facial bones or the hand bones. Um, and that is, I think, as recent as Alpha 4 that I've noticed that happening. Um, you say that um, even if bones don't have uh, weights, you still see a vertex group for the bone? Or you yep. see an export? Um, I believe it shows up in export because typically the whole reason why I have to remove it is that I run up against that 110 bone limit. Um, there, is, um, there is a setting in the advanced um, in the advanced panel for the Avastar uh, exp uh, Colada exporter. Just let me check moment oh okay can't you just remove the bone group yes you, you can just remove the bone group but it should be um, I, I wonder how it uh, how it's uh, how the bone group uh, shows up if there is no weight in it so you you make uh, you, you create automatic weights from from bone heat and you end up with uh, all bones weighted is this correct? Yeah. Um, let's see here. But like, this never yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, no. So typically when uh, all of the mesh that I've worked on so far have deliberately avoided the face. So, like, say for example, when I rigged my centaur, um, I would still get um, a listing in the vertex groups for the facial bones and so every time I have to uh, remove that but I do see that you have these extra checkboxes now and I don't know how recent that's been there but I, I assume what you mean is that I should check only weighted bones only deformed bones and etc etc on the export is that what you mean uh, yes you, there, there, there are two um I'm just uh, just one second. Maybe I have a, a version of Blender which works. Just a moment, please. I have been building a new version of Blender while I was here in the meeting, and it failed. So uh, right now I don't have a new one. One moment. I just posted a link. Is that done correctly to meet the? locations and scale of the bones so that they won't export with translations because if that's what y'all were talking about it, it isn't working for me that that's not how i do how i do it i delete the locations completely yeah but sometimes if you're okay. um, creating enough animations in one single file it's convenient to just mute it um, what I typically do is I'll either mute the location or the rotation, or mute the bone entirely. Did you see her um, image, Aki? I don't know anything about muting. I don't know anything about muting, so... 
Well, it's the little speaker icon, right? Like, if it doesn't have the, the sound lines coming out of it, then it's muted. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, that's what I did, and that doesn't seem to be working for me, so I guess I'll have to try deleting those channels. Um, so if you if you find things like that, it's um, as I said before, we there there are thousands of um, of things which can go wrong, and we can not uh, we cannot check on all of those uh, things every time when we do a new update. Um, so getting feedback from from you. What, what's, what's not working or what is working not in a convenient way. This is the only way how we can do something because, you, you know, we didn't look at the animation exporter for a month because there was no change in it, no, no direct change in it. Maybe we changed something on another area of, of, uh, of our tools and this has some effect on the export of animations. We just don't know. We, we need your feedback to to keep uh, things correct there's no other chance but we, we get really we don't get much feedback that's that's the problem that's our well that's I don't think also. anyone's expecting you to be perfect Mitrace. yeah <laughs> it's, it's yeah fine. But, but it's always it's always the same we we, we get um, we get to know uh, issues um, more or less by chance, because uh, we are talking in the forums, or we are. Uh, I'm I'm listening here, and I hear. Oh, this is not. As I expect things to 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 happen, um, but but we very very uh, we do not get such information often uh, in our ticket system or by email or by. In, uh, we we have always to pull. We don't get. Um, reports pushed to us we have to pull them <laughs> which is um, uh, sometimes hard because we don't know where to pull um, that's 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 a problem yeah that, that's that's exactly the point it's it's always it's hard sometimes it's really hard for us as well if things are, are working right or wrong or if maybe blender has changed something or whatever uh, we have really we have to we have to look at the um, at the issues one by one and often it takes a lot of time to to even understand what's uh, what the problem is so I only can beg you to explain the issues as precise as possible so that we don't have to first figure out what, what, what the problem is at the end, at the beginning. Aki, um, with the problem with this um, camera, now you stated earlier that all quads should have this problem, right? Yeah, I've run into this with my centaur as well. It's it's less pronounced, but uh, it's definitely noticeable. I will say, um, now Elizabeth had suggested I should uh, try uploading a BVH, and I have. And if you have a close look, you'll see that the, uh, the results are not desirable. I will, however, say that my camera is no longer moving up and down. <laughs> Neither is your voice indicator. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, do, do you have um, uh, do you have one demo where it's going wrong and one demo where it's going right? Yeah, let me grab the base animation that I had previously. Just a sec. I will try and update my wolf. And uh, see what happens with him this week. Okay, so I'm just about to play the dot anim of the same file.
and apparently I didn't loop that particular version. Let me just see if I can find another. Okay, this should be the one. Um, and this is what is in the AO uh, that I sent you. And do you have any idea what uh, is different between this one and the one which works? Well, works is kind of... I mean, the one that doesn't make the, the camera move up and down. The only difference is that I exported it as a BVH. Ah, okay. Oh, wait, uh, you, expo uh, you, uh, you use Avastar as well? I do. Um, because we did not yet um, update the BVH for the bento bones. And this still works? This is interesting. So you, c you say uh, the BVH is working for the bento bones? Well, it works, but like if I play it again, you'll see that um, it's really changing the uh, position of my torso along with yeah. the wing position. Um, I'm pretty sure that the BVH exporter does not export translations. Okay, that's probably why. And unfortunately for me, me uh, this attachment heavily relies on translations. Yep, yeah, and I only realized uh, that when I was playing around with bento bones, because I was thinking, wow, it'd be cool if it could do this, and it did. Well, I feel only slightly less dumb. I think it's really just a matter of one of those things when you're dealing with Winder and you're thinking, oh, there has to be a way to do this, there has to be, there has to be, and it turns out there is, but it's just not super intuitive. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I've had that moment before, and the conclusion I arrived at was that I just have to export two separate animations and play them simultaneously. <laughs> oh, I was gonna do that. I was about to do that until I just started deleting locations and all of a sudden it worked. Why don't you ask us? <laughs> Sometimes we know something like that. Should, may, maybe we should... Um, I, is, it, is it helpful to, to, to add some sort of uh, short question answer system or I don't know what? I mean, yeah, 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 that would be pretty maybe. helpful. Um, to we, have we like an Avastar tick ticketing system where other people can answer questions and just leave them on the website. That would be pretty cool. Well, we had such a question and answer system for a while, but this one ended up in having about 90% of all um, threads were some sort of advertising uh, and not related to our stuff at all. And we finally gave up because nobody really used it. Maybe because of this advertising uh, spam stuff, I don't know. But do you have any, any recommendation what, what uh, system we should use? Is there anyone who knows what, what would be a good, uh, a good system for this?
I do know that a lot of people comment uh, on learning new things from my videos, which I'm always using Avastar, so. Mm -hmm. well, it's, uh, it, it's our problem since, since we started with this uh, tool stuff that um, there are so many possible options for, for getting feedback but none of these of these options really worked well. I, I believe that the, um, the chat groups are indeed working the best. I, I've seen that in the Avastar group there is a lot of traffic, maybe even too much at times. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to have a, 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 a chat group for what well, for for bento or at least for let's say for animation related stuff but there there should be a lot of such groups yeah i, I just made um, a bento group so if anyone wants in just let me know and i'll give you an invite you can invite me That that's an easy way to do it too. <laughs> well, we can we can have a have a look into Jira. Uh, I will say, though, um, Matrice, that Gaia regularly contacts me in, about special builds, and uh, it's just difficult to know when you're making something, whether it's you, or it's the program, or it's Second Life, or what, you know? It is, and it's especially difficult right now, since Bento is also in beta, to know if it's user error, or if it's Avastar error, or if it's Bento error. Like or just second from, life being second life. We suffer from this uh, also <laughs> because, um, uh, of course, we are we are changing uh, the the definitions all the time. Then uh, the viewer changes all the time. Blender is changing also, and then we have regular uh, uh, fix bug fixes and all this stuff. It's it's a uh, it's a bit much to handle at the moment. Actually, it's a bit much to handle since about half a year now. We have we we really want to 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 uh, to get to an end. Actually, our ticket system has about 100 open tickets at the moment, and we don't know how to get rid of them. Um, oh man, well, I can only imagine. I know I tend to just assume that it's something that I'm doing as opposed to something the program's doing. Well. Actually, there is. Uh, we, we have one um, opinion, uh, a very specific opinion on this. If someone um, stumbles over something which looks wrong, or which looks suspicious, then it can either be they don't know how to make it right. This means we have to do something in the documentation, or it's a bug in the in the tool. That means we have to make a bug fix. Um, very often we have to do both, of course. Um, but actually, uh, I know that that most of our improvement comes uh, from uh, from from user uh, comments. And when one of us is asking, is is really asking users, "Hey, do you have anything which is wrong, or which looks wrong, or which looks suspect?" And very often we get answers like, um, uh, "It's probably my call, my 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 thing. I I didn't know the, I don't know which uh, which buttons to to use, and all this." 
and at the end it turns out that the document documentation needs only one or two sentences to clarify something or maybe uh, 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 the, the user interface has to be changed a bit and things like that they bring us most of the, the, the biggest um, improvements so just don't hesitate just even if we have 200 open tickets it doesn't matter uh, we always we, we, we won't we won't forget these things we just uh, are not quick enough to, to handle all of them at the same time but having a ticket which says uh, everything is broken and uh, I see it uh, happens in this way and I don't know what to do is it's much better than uh, just throwing away uh, the, 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 the blend file or the tool or, or, and not notifying us because then a potential problem uh, gets lost forever. That's very true, and that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Well, we have learned over the years that it's it's really it's uh, it's very very hard to uh, to get feedback because I, I I believe the the main problem is that giving feedback takes a lot of time and um, if someone is not very confident about it's a bug um, then they may choose to not do anything and just say uh, my neighbors will find it if it's really a bug then uh, let's wait for two months and see if it has been fixed uh, I understand why this happens because many many of the um, uh, of the creators just have a lot of uh, work to do for, for for getting their own creations done not so much work for um, reporting bugs I understand this yeah universal problem with our software that's very true oh, yes yeah Well, about Jira, I am I am personally not very keen of uh, of this, um, but this is a personal opinion. I, I have to we have to, to discuss it in the group if it's a good idea to, to switch to Jira or to keep with the system that we have or to, to find something else. Um, but thanks for um, for mentioning that it is um, it can be helpful. But actually, I'm not sure if we, are, uh, we um, if, if uh, our project is um, can use Jira for free because it's a commercial project at the end. Yeah. Well, we actually we, we have uh, another ticket system which is used in a, um, uh, in a commercial project which is completely unrelated to Second Life. Um, this one might be uh, another um, another another option to use. I, I have to, to to check if it can be just uh, adapted to our needs here. Okay, whatever. At, at the moment, our ticket system is broken anyway, so if you have anything that you want to, uh, to, to show or demo, then just send, send it to me or to, to Gaia by email. It will, it will get to, um, to our, we will notice. <laughs> 